Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode with your host, the one, the only, the chosen one, the A one of the world, the churned. And today we're continuing with more Saints Row the Third. Uh, last time we were into Steelport, we escaped uh, one of our main enemies, one of the many gangs in this game. And uh, we are here on our own safe house. Uh, the same safe house, one of the many safe houses across the city of Steelport. And casually, we almost cross paths with some fellas. And we don't want to have that because uh, the cops are nearby. And we don't have to have cops, right? Let's see. Oh, yes. Let's do one of these missions. It's at the airport. Think I found us a new place. Pierce, we were supposed to be looking for Loren, not how The most on. interesting the thing this about this game is... is Alright, I'm listening. How easy it is to run out. This is ridiculous. The game itself is ridiculous. Now, I kind of take a little bit of what I said uh, the game was Again, never. What's the plan? The Saints will be downstairs until you can unlock the elevator for them to come up. Wait, wait. It, if I can't it go was up, ridiculous. then how will I? Uh... It's just, oh, uh, right, the penthouse. That's right. A little bit uh, out there. A little bit more out there than usual for the other game. So, uh, uh, and the other game, I mean, uh, the game with uh, Saints Row Four. Uh, basically. Just through every single type of logic and ridiculousness, and just threw it to a whole new level of impossibility. Again, uh, uh, the fun possibility is kind of really subjective. Uh, when I mean subjective and, and, and ridiculousness, is that uh, the other game, uh, in this game, for instance. Uh, it's tangible, everything you see is tangible, basically, uh, everything is in there. In the other games, the whole series is a simulation and you also have superpowers at the end. Uh, basically, you don't have anything else to do, just go around uh, flying and using your fists. You don't even need weapons, you're, you're basically uh, a superman of sorts, or a superwoman if you're playing a woman. And, and you're basically undefeatable at that point. They kind of make it a little boring. Takes away the the fun out of it after a while. What you thinking? Some assholes in my pool. The crew's ready downstairs. Say the word and we crash the party. Let's do it. At least I ain't scared of heights. What you gonna do, man? And once I get the codes, I'll let you know. Just give the word, boss. I'm betting you know the code to the elevator. Go to hell! Really want to play it like that? Fine, code's 3131. Just watch the jacket. Just warming up! Ooh. 
It beats the hell out of a studio apartment. Fun with grenades. Yeah. And uh so after a while uh I kinda notice that Doubt they're letting all this go without a fight. Uh. Walking death machine right here! Turn a shotgun. Got it, got it, got it. We got Funny you. Job, girl. We're coming up. Keep the door clear. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Um, this is this. Oh, more. These clowns. There you go. We kill all the bitches in our new place. Easy enough. Our team back. We have Shondi. We have the rest of the same stinking back, but it's over respectfully ours. Take these bastards down. <laughs> Boss, guys are getting dropped off outside. Oh, crap. This clowns. I just got too much skill. Clear out morning star out of the out of our spin house. There you go. <laughs> Who else is in there? Oh, My bad. Got that girls. Next Come on, Nice. That's one less thing we have to worry about. Talk to me, Shandi. Good news? We've cleared him out. Bad news. The boys are saying this place is rigged to blow. Yeah, I'd say that's bad. Where's that guy in the helicopter going? Ah, uh, he probably oh, set the crap. damn bomb. Then I didn't notice. Yeah, I have I'm saying crap because I don't have the uh, volume from the computer from my Xbox on. Uh because how uh, is the video capture uh box doesn't allow me to uh, hear the audio from hope everything looks spotless when I get back Sean the computer <laughs> I like also have the audio oh, from wish. the That'd be sexy microphone when I'm talking here. You're the audio from the all microphone right, basically. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. You guys listen for feedback. 
you had to turn it off all the volume and I'll show I can even solely talk for myself and it is this is a quick uh, view of how I work with what I have it's not bad but it's not glamorous but again that's the only thing I have so uh, just a uh, just a quick reminder of how things work unfortunately or fortunately depends how you see this uh, I just learned that a life sometimes you have to make a you have to make a lemonade with a lemon so that that's how it goes sometimes we think that we we don't have any options there are options you just have to work with what we already have at hand you don't have to believe that all the time everything is gonna go 100 percent so you have to decide to uh, make uh, balanced life choices if you will and from there on you just have to decide what to do next There are options, and there are plenty of options. Looks like these things are on a coded oh, timer, and the clock's ticking. You got him yet? He hasn't landed yet. Don't, don't worry, he's gotta have the codes. Nope, no codes, just four wires. Red, right. green, blue, and black. Let's hope he ain't colorblind, then. Feeling suicidal. It. Tell me which wire diffuses the bomb. The red wire. Cut the red wire. Thanks. It's the red one. Damn, I lost the bed. We got them. The Saints aren't going to back down. Maddie, there's nothing to worry about. My thoughts exactly, Mr. Kilbane. The Saints are no more than a white noise of empty sights. With respect, sir. I'd say empty is no longer applicable. All right. Down the Saints news so, group, people don't stop posting stupid shit. I'm going to wrap this here, but for you it will be for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and keep gaming.